Right, so how to clean up rusty car parts. Um, obviously you could just use a wire brush and just keep rubbing the rust off. Um, you could just tap the rust off and paint it with some hammerite. You could get it professionally um, de-rusted. You could get it sandblasted, I suppose. Or you could use electrolysis. I'm not going to claim fame to this idea. This was Cully's idea on 306OC. I'll put a link down the bottom some somewhere down there somewhere um however because of forum changes and internet magic that i i don't understand there's no p images which are quite helpful and uh, so i'm just going to follow what he said best to do i've done this on a massive scale or well, seen it done on a massive scale but but on a small scale not on a homebrew kit um you're gonna need some wire to hang your parts uh, in a bucket of water you're gonna need something to conduct some electricity so a steel sheet or some steel wire as well you're gonna need a bucket I'm going to get some water in a minute. Pretty clean bucket would be useful. Um, something like an old broom handle to hang your parts in. Uh, the bucket with. Definitely some soda crystals. This helps conduct the electricity um, and help the electrolysis take the process. It doesn't really do the cleaning job. Obviously some rusty parts and a DC 12 volt supply. Massively useful as well. So um, we'll just set it up and show you how it works. So we've got a coil of... Um, steel wire in there hooked over the edge this is going to be our positive terminal so our positive from the batch charger will attach to that um, and then we've got our um, broom pole we've just put a couple of notches in it just so that sits nice and tidy on there and then we've started to clean off now i've only spent about two or three minutes on this just knock off the a light hammer any little rust bits off it um, and I've given a quick rub down with a wire brush just to get the loose bits off it just to help the process along um, I'm going to leave the carriers out, I'm going to do those separately because we've got some well when Ozone said they were seized they're, they're, well, they're just they're seized um, so we're going to see if we can unseize those the positive things with these is the seals are in good order so I wanted to see what I can make of them um, and then we've got a little bit of wire loop here that will loop through the broom handle so it hangs inside and it can't touch the sides really or touch the electrodes obviously ideally and then what i've done is because the crocodile clip was busted anyway i've soldered on four lines for the earth or the negative side of the charger and then we can put two points of contact on each caliper you want to get as many contacts as possible really and then we'll fill it up with water um, with a mix of 15 litres to half a kilo so 15 litres of water to half a kilo of soda crystals um, you might find it's helpful if it's slightly warm just to mix them in so let's do that next and see where we get to so here's the setup um, our earths are going in here they're connecting at two points one at the top of the calipers and at the bottom of the calipers and then our positive is in into there into the terminals into that coil at the bottom and then our DC terminal, uh, DC charger is on. Um, you need a, you'll need a charger that hasn't got an auto cut off because it'll just cut off um, with the draw. Um, is it working? Well, it's only just been turned on, but can you see bubbles and fizz? That's what you want to see. And we'll come back to that in a few hours and see what's happening. Uh, Cully recommends about twelve hours, so we'll see. Uh, We'll see. All right, folks, so um, this is the result after about 15 hours. It wasn't a very strong solution. It was about 17 or 18 litres and only half a bag, half a kilo. So it wasn't drawing much current. Um, but let's see what it's done, shall we? Let's have a look. Right. first one. Uh, first inspection doesn't look that great but what you've got to do is just rub slightly and it comes back to the original metal. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if you can see that. It just flakes off like sort of just like icing. Look, see that's thick rusty metal in there, and now it's almost like you know when you soak a pan that's had like pasta bake in it, the pasta's rock hard, and then you soak it for a while, then it just kind of flakes off, rinses off. It's kind of what's happened here with the rust. 
it kind of soaks it for so long that it just lifts it off the surface. So we'll give that a good just jet wash off you could do on a bigger part I suppose, but I'm just going to give it a rub down with a wire brush and see what it looks like. Yeah, result. So um, we've now got the carriers in there. I've added a little bit more soda crystals. Um, still not much fizz going on, but it's only taking about an amp or so. It started taking about two initially. Um, I don't know much about it to be honest. Well, I know nothing about it. Certainly beyond my expertise, so no idea. It's working. Um, it probably could have done with longer or more soda crystals, I reckon. I've had to chip away at some bits of rust. However, you can see the difference. This has obviously just come out. And you can kind of see it wants to flake away already. Like sort of soft icing. Um, but I've just given that a quick rub down. And you can see, I mean, that would take a long time with a wire brush compared to that. Um, and a wire wheel maybe on a drill and stuff. And noise. And I've just left it in there overnight. Um, it still needs a bit more rubbing down. I'll probably will just get a wire wheel and a drill just to finish it off, and then I can clean it with some brake cleaner, degrease, and just stick some hammer right on it. From that to that, from that to that, from that to that, using that, from that to that, using that. Brilliant! Right, so I thought we'd see how the uh, the others fared. Um, Actually, you see the coil in there now. Not much scum come to the top, but there wasn't so much rust on these. Right. Just get the one, the side one off there. Get this off. Oh, it's looking promising already. He's had uh, a little bit longer, so these have had about. 20 hours or so, something like that. Oh, look at that. You just see, just quick. I'm rubbing ever so gently, it just flakes off beautifully. Obviously, some areas where there's not much rust at all. Look at that. Oh, that's a good side to show you. Right. So, rust, be gold. And this comes off. Big chunks of rust off, leaving us with a nice metal that we just quickly prep. Brilliant. Right. Okay, so we put the sliders in, because um, obviously with the grease now they weren't making any contact. Um, and I just put it up to 24 volts. Now, I've got no idea what I'm doing here. I did notice that when I did the calipers, a lot of rust came off. And obviously you saw the results, but there was no scum. Um, and all the cunny stuff, and others that have done it, there's like a good level of scum, which can you see, hopefully here? There's quite a level, and that's just from a few sliders. So, I'm going to turn it off, and we're going to see the results. Either it's destroyed them, or it's done an even better job. And, it has done an even better job. As you can come to see what I'm up to. Then I might just redo these because there's just a couple of sections that are proven actually a bit stubborn. And that even with the, those really rusty calibers in there, the water was almost clear when I'd finished. So we've turned that off. I'll just take the positive terminal off. And we'll take them out. Wow. Okay, that made a big difference. Goodness me. Um, and just for your information, hard doing this one-handed. I've only left them in there for about three hours. Oh, there we go. I'm watching them, but I'm looking on the camera. They have come up a treat. All right, I might redo a couple of the calipers um, after the weekend, because I'm away this weekend. I'll have another go at those. In fact, I might just stick them in now for an hour before I go. Hmm. I have a feeling it's a bit of a dicky... Uh, Charger, though, so that might be why. Oh, well. It's all about experimenting, isn't it? So, um, you saw how clean the calipers uh, came up earlier. Um, well, I put them back in at 24 volts. Mm, 
Maybe an expert can come along and comment whether that's a good idea or not, but it has made a massive difference, as you can see. So we've turned it off, and let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Right. Now there were a couple of stubborn bits on it, which I believe... Yeah, now, let's, it's, here we go, they're coming straight off now, those stubborn bits. So, just check that when you do set it up, that you're getting that fizz and you're getting the scum. Now, if you're not, either increase your ratio of water, uh, soda crystals to water. So, I'm at about 20 litres to 1 kilo. But what made the biggest difference was increasing the voltage from 12 to 24. Um, now that might be because this charger is on its last legs, admittedly. But if you're getting that scumminess, then you're definitely... It's made a massive difference, that has. All those really nasty bits which weren't coming off, even with a good rub with a scraper, are uh, now just flaking straight off. So that's good news. So for the final test, uh, as it were, it's not really a final test, now I'm set up basically, I can keep reusing this. You probably want to renew the water and the solution every now and again, um, more because of the filth. But um, I've got a hub here, it's not the rustiest I've ever seen, it's not exactly nice either, as you can see. Um, the bearings I have no knowledge of, so I'm going to replace those, but I'm just going to dunk it all in. and. See what it's like. I might not be able to use them. I haven't checked even the hub uh, ball, um, ball joint size yet. But um, I painted the ones. I rubbed them down carefully, painted them onto my car. And after about a year, they're starting to look scabby again. Um, but I didn't do this first. I just rubbed them down. So we'll see what the difference will be like um, on this. So I've just washed it off. Basically, with just a hose and a brush because it was muddy. Uh, so just left with all this lovely scabbiness. Lots of rust. So I'll report back when I've uh, done the dunking. Okay, so we turned this off a couple of hours ago, just because um, it'd been on for 12 hours, uh, 24 volts. So um, this was the hub. No pre, no prep work. Obviously the bearing might be a little bit ruined now, but we knew the bearing wasn't much good in the first place. So this is straight out of the bucket, literally, metaphorically. And let's have a look. Let's get in there. And there we go. Quick rub down. And all that rust, what's oh, a nice edge there, is just flaking straight off. It'd be nice if the camera would focus a bit more, but, you know, beggars and choosers. And that is coming up lovely. So, um, this is just, I've given it that quick scrape. But all I've done out now, not even at the uh, jet wash, just straight off the hose, I've given it a blast off, and all that rust has come straight off. There's a few tiny little bits which we'll just have to give with a rub with a wire brush, but pretty much, and obviously an area where the ABS uh, sensor sat. But look at that, straight back to the bare metal. Even this, which looked absolutely horrific. Now all I need to do is give it a quick clean off and paint it. Uh, well, Paul recommends, whose uh, username's Cully on the 360C, looking lovely in there, he recommends about 15 litres of water to half a, a bag of soda crystals, which is a kilo, so half a kilo. Um, I ended up using about 19 litres, 18 and a half litres of water to one bag, and I used 24 volt, but that could be because that's on a bit, oof, it's a bit iffy. I got the same results as he did with 20, uh, 24 volts as he did with 12, so I'm assuming that that... Uh, charge is not so good, not so much current in it. Um, but you saw the level of sort of dross you want on the top and the little bit of fizzing that you want to see. And after about 12 hours, you're left with something that will just clean up lovely like that. And then after a quick wipe down, that's what you have. So full credit to Cully, uh, Paul is his name, and I will put a link down the bottom, down there somewhere, to the 306 Owners Club, to the guide. There's no pictures, unfortunately. Uh, something I don't understand about the internet, but then there's this video to help you along. Um, and then what you get 
is you get this coil here, which is collected now, all the rest of the, the electrode you're going to use for the positive side is going to collect all that rust. Can you see that? So then you'll need to well, clean that off, basically. So all you need to do is put the earth onto that and another metal piece um, on, as a positive inside, and that'll collect all that rust off there. It's got to go somewhere. It can't disappear. Um, and actually... You can see how much rust we've collected. That was a clean piece of wire before we put it in. So we'll do that now. In fact, it's so rusty, it broke in half. Look at that. Um, so we'll put a... Uh, we'll put the negative on that now, and then a positive in, floating in the middle, and that'll collect all the rust off that, and then we'll be good to go again. We'll obviously change the water. So that's how to de-rust car parts really, really easily, um, while you're having a cup of tea. Hope you find it useful. Please... Uh, like it, give it a thumbs up, uh, make a little comment if you've got any questions, and subscribe if you haven't already. Got loads more of these videos, and lots more about the car outside, which you can just see shining out there, which needs some work still to get finished for show season. Thanks very much.